Hello, I'm Laura McPhee, a reporter at Pensions Insight and Engaged Investor Magazines, and I'm here with Nigel Ferrier, Executive Chairman of Ferrier Pierce. Good morning, Nigel. Good morning. How are you today? Very well, thank good. you. How are you? Great conference. Good, good. Glad you're enjoying it so yeah. far. So today we're talking about employee benefits, and what I wanted to ask you was, why don't the vast majority of employees value the benefits that they're given properly? Well, that's a question that I've been wondering for some time, and I think part of the problem is that they don't really understand them. Um, I think, I mean, I come from a communications background, and I think the majority of people don't don't really get what the kind of the whole value uh, of the rewards are about. Um, I think that's partly because the employers who are providing the benefit, and the risk is that they're not actually getting the benefit from the benefit they're actually providing, um, aren't doing enough to communicate the fact to their. Uh, employees. A classic example is that they, they will tend to treat all employees the same without looking at um, what their particular requirements are. I mean, in marketing, we would never be as crude as to look at a 20-year-old employee as a 60-year-old employee, so what we'd be doing is to look into segment the, the messages and making them more relevant. And one of the biggest sins in marketing today is actually irrelevance. You know, we're bombarded with information, and unless we get the information in a form that's actually right for us, then we tend not to look at it. And I think that's one of the key issues, that people are putting enough effort into um, communicating. It's almost like a bit like a tick box exercise. You know, we've done the communications, we've put out the leaflet or whatever it is, however they're going to do it, or done an internet site. But as George Bernard Shaw said, the trouble with the, commu uh, with the communication is an illusion it's actually occurred. And I think that's the problem. They think they're doing the job, but they're not actually. Brilliant. So what would you say they should be doing to change that? Well, I think they need to look at a much higher segmentation of the information. I mean, they hold in the uh, HR database or the pension scheme database or the ben benefits database, they'll hold real nuggets of information that as a marketeer I could use to really make that information work harder for the people. I mean, why, for instance, I'll say if you take a flexible benefits package, why are you advertising you know, childcare vouchers to people who don't have children? You know, you know, why aren't you, if people bought the cycle to work scheme, why aren't you also helping them maybe join the local gym? You know, it's, it's, so it's really using a bit like the Amazon idea. So, you know, if you bought this, you might also like this as well. Um, and I think it's really getting, um, starting to create personas. I mean, we do a lot of work now where we create personas. I mean, the pensions regulator, when they were looking at communicating auto enrolment, they developed personas to really get behind the mindset of the people that they were trying to reach. And I think it's a very similar technique that's using. It's used all the time in consumer marketing, and it's a question of bringing those type of marketing techniques internally. Well, thank you very much, Nigel.